I actually just got done crying, so it's hard. <laughs> Starting our Sunday, as I usually do, doing our meal prepping for the week. I cook for the week because I am in San Diego during the week, so I can't cook for JV well, obviously, while I'm in San Diego. So I cook for us on Sundays, which makes the week um, so much easier and um, more productive. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'll show you. So what, how I do it is I start off by uh, planning everything, how long each thing is going to take, and which order I should cook it. Uh, I'm cooking rice here. Hold on, let me stir that. Um, okay, so cooking rice here, all the things that need to take um, longer to cook. I'm going to start the chicken here, um, lentils. And then I'm going to make this stroganoff, so the pasta here. Then I'm going to be chopping things here. I'm also using a rotisserie chicken to cut time in half. In addition to the chicken, I'm going to cook. And I have some other ingredients in the refrigerator that I'm about to pull out. Yeah, so basically I boil and have things cooking while I chop to save time. And then I will come back at the end when I'm packing everything to show you how it goes. Okay, okay. You like it? Yeah, I'm trying to find them several times. I'm really uh, engaged. But... I knew you were going to be thinking about that while you were there. Yeah, but I didn't really do an audit. It's just there was a lot, of, a lot of people, of course, checking out at the same time. Though I had one uh, cashier. Yeah. So I found that for the onion. That was $14.99 on Amazon. Okay. It was $1.99 in reality. Wow. Yeah, on unique items, Amazon, they really fuck you. They, they have algorithm. They know really well what they can do or what they cannot. It's crazy. They max on the $14.99. So I took those already pre cut. And this also kind of like, you know, the and the chicken, unfortunately, they didn't have organic, but it seems to be like, uh, you know, obviously free from diabetes and stuff. Okay. So now, hi. Now I'm gonna do a crock pot recipe because it can just kind of cook by itself. And it is going to be a chicken stroganoff. So I already put chicken, a layer of diced chicken in there, then a layer of sliced mushrooms. Now I'm gonna make the mix. I'm adding cream of chicken. This is a guilty meal. Um, and a lot of dairy, which I probably shouldn't have, but um, I was looking for recipes in crock pots and this just looked really good. So I'm just gonna go for it, you know what I'm saying? In there. I'm gonna go for it. Might as well get it all. Then I'm gonna add, and then lastly, I'm gonna add this um, onion soup mix, dry mix, just the mix in here. And oh, also, I had already seasoned the chicken in there before I put it in the crock pot, so it's already seasoned. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna pour this on top. Then I put the lid on and it's gonna cook on low for about four to six hours. 
And then I have the noodles over here that it's gonna go on top of. So that's that easy crock pot recipe. Share with me, please, your you guys' um, crock pot recipes below. Okay, so Honey just came back with his haircut. Let's see it. Nice, very handsome. And we have our smoothie bags over here that Jay is making. They have the spinach. What else is in there, honey? The strawberry, blueberries. Nice. Might be a little lemon too. A little lemon and banana, no? Uh, not yet, but now they're not ready. Okay, well I'll add my own banana in yeah. San Diego. You can keep those. And then the day of, we just add the powders and that's the pasta for the stroganoff. And then these are the rest of the meals. We have the burrito bowls here. This is lunch, chicken, lentils, and carrots. And then we have the salads, which we're putting in mason jars. It has the oil on the bottom, then tomatoes, chickpeas, red onions, um, garbanzo beans, uh, feta cheese, chicken, and spinach. So that's a wrap on meal prepping. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So now we're headed to golf. Uh, I took a little nap after cooking and we're ready to head out. It's a Sunday. Let's see where I landed. See some little deer here on the course. bunnies <laughs> so now we got back from golf I am about to pack um, because I will be heading back to San Diego tomorrow which is really hard um, actually just got done crying because it doesn't really get easier to leave um, my home here in LA and leave those cats and JV so it's hard Sunday nights are a little bit more somber for me but I am continuing to do our little ro routine so now I am going to pack and then I'm going to work a little bit I'm gonna plan my social media and for the week and try to film at least one YouTube video. Um, it's around five o'clock, so we'll see how much I actually get done. I usually work before we actually go play golf, but as I said, I woke up later today, so I got the day started later, so I may have to uh, just compromise and see what I can and cannot get done. Um, but for now, I'm packing up my makeup and about to pack my work clothes. There's Coco working hard. Coco, you going to help me pack? <laughs> and uh, my little toiletries, and then I'm going to work um, here. I usually work in my office on Sundays, but um, because, like I said, I'm getting a late start, I'm just going to schedule my social media here and then try to go uh, maybe film one YouTube video. So the way that I pack is I do my pack my outfits together. So this is Tuesday through Friday. That way when I get there in San Diego, I can just pull and go um, out of my suitcase. Well, well, usually I put these into my closet in little stacks, and that way I just pull and go. And then I have what I'm going to wear tomorrow out over there. Yeah, so I'm almost pretty much done packing. going to start... Um, 
planning my social media and looking at my week, I like to sit down and look at like, okay, what do I need to do this week? What do I need to turn in for my dissertation? Um, what client stuff do I need to do? That way it's all in my calendar and then each day I don't even have to think about what I need to work on because I work in the morning about a couple hours before I go into work. Um, so it's already planned out, okay, this day you need to sit down and do this, this day you need to sit down and do that. And then I plan out which class pass, I use class pass, so which class pass classes I'm gonna go to. So I book those, put them in my calendar, and that way the week is already done, and during the week it's just kinda going with the flow, and the planning and the strategizing is already done. Um, and that way I found doing that, I've been doing that, hmm probably since I started this internship because I really want to streamline and like schedule everything at block, use block scheduling because I knew I was gonna have limited time outside of the nine to five schedule of my job to work on my other projects. So I had to get really disciplined on how I use my time. So yeah, now my clothes are packed. Now I'm gonna pa uh, plan out my social media and my work time in the morning. Dinner and a little TV. Where's that? Sunday. Mm -hmm.